Good evening and welcome to this week's first edition of Primetime News. I'm your anchor, Michael Madimba. Leading our bulletin tonight, President Dr. Hage Gengob and First Lady Monica Gengos are on course for a speedy recovery from coronavirus COVID-19 after they both tested positive on Wednesday last week. This is according to a press statement issued on Sunday by Press Secretary Dr. Alfredo Hengari, which indicated that both the President and the First Lady had responded well to treatment and are on course for full recovery. The statement read, The President and the First Lady are in a stable condition and in good spirits. All precautionary measures are taken and neither the President nor the First Lady have been admitted to hospital. Wishing the first couple a speedy recovery and looking forward to seeing them back in office. Robust cooperation and relationships between community members and police agencies should always be perpetuated to assist the effective combating of crimes, Deputy Inspector General of Operations in the Namibian Police Force, Joseph Shikongo, has said. Nampol Deputy General for Operations Joseph Shikongo made these remarks while addressing lodge owners and community members in Seisrem and Sources Play in the Hardab region during a three-day Nampol tour to the Nalcloft Park areas where issues on finding ways in assisting curbing of crimes that affect lodge owners in the region were amongst those discussed. Shikongo said that combating crimes should be a collective effort from all stakeholders, adding that the police plans to strengthen working relationships with lodge owners, thus protecting tourists from criminals, while simultaneously protecting wild animals from poachers. He further emphasized that strong relationships and mutual trust between police and the communities are critical to maintaining the safety of both the communities and their properties, adding that community members should not fear reporting crimes even though it involves those close to them. Shikongo advised community members to make use of suggestion boxes at all police stations for cases involving police officers and sales and distribution of drugs. Also speaking at the meeting, Sources Play Lodge manager Carl Haynes Oost Hazen stated that they feel neglected by the government as no official visited the area over the past five years. He also expressed gratitude towards Shikongo and his team of more than 10 police officials for their visit, adding that the area of Nalcloft has thus far recorded fewer crimes. The police in the Erongo region have opened a case of stock theft after 17 sheep and goats were allegedly slaughtered at Farm Tsoa Base in the Ochimbingwe district on Friday. The Namibian police force in its weekend serious crime report said two unknown male suspects allegedly tied up the goat header and destroyed his cell phone SIM card before proceeding to the kraal where they slaughtered the livestock. A case of stock theft was also opened at Ocho by Kunene police after an unknown suspect allegedly ended a kraal at Farm Palafontaine in the Ocho district and slaughtered a goat worth 800 Namibian dollars on Saturday. It further alleged that the same suspect stole two dogs from the farm. No suspect has been arrested and no recoveries have been made. Meanwhile, the Ocho police recorded a theft after three solar palms valued at 90,000 Namibian dollars were allegedly stolen from farm tears in Ocho district. No arrests have been made and police investigations continue. A freshly removed elephant tusk was on Saturday night seized from two men who allegedly tried to sell it to an undercover police officer at Gam Settlement in the Tsumke constituency. Spokesperson of the Namibian Police Force in the Oshodanjupa region, Inspector Maureen Beha, in an interview with Nampa on Sunday, said the two men are residents of Gom and are aged 23 and 38 years. She added that the police officers arrested them during a deal last night at 9 o'clock p.m. and the elephant task that they wanted to sell was also seized. Its real value is yet to be determined as police investigations in the matter had just begun, Beha added. The doer is expected to appear in the Tsunkwe Periodical Court on charges of dealing and all possession of prohibited game products on Monday. Police investigations continue. Stand by for your top roundup.
The government has collected 190 million Namibian dollars through the auctioning of 15,948 megatons of hake fish, the Ministry of Finance has announced. The Finance Ministry in a media statement issued today said the auction held on 16 April 2021 was a success with government pocketing 190 million Namibian dollars from the auction compared to 102 million Namibian dollars had the quarter been disposed at the reserve prices. It said the auction received a total of 38 bids, however only 23 bids complied with the requirements. According to the ministry, the auctioning outcomes confirms auctioning as a good mechanism to facilitate price discovery in the sector and allocate natural resources to the market. It further said the same auction principles will apply for the upcoming auctions for other fish species scheduled for 18 June 2021. More than 60% of the QKR Namibian Nawakhab gold mines workforce is from the Karibib constituency in the Irongo region, the miners said. Thus, following allegations of unfair recruitment for 60 machine operator positions. Communication consultant Usi Hoibab told Nampa in an interview on Friday that two-thirds of the workforce is local. It's time for the Business and Economics Roundup. And now, a look into the world of sports. Civics came back from a goal down to thrash a hapless Tura Magic team 4-1 at the same Yoma Stadium on Sunday afternoon in the Namibia Premier Football League Silver League match. Magic missed many chances in the first half as they seemed to make wrong choices in the final third, choosing to try and walk the ball in the net rather than shoot. That came back to haunt them in the second half as Civics made use of the chances they created by scoring three goals through Hans Kaib, Marcel Papama and Aubrey Omsep for an emphatic 4-1 victory. Still on soccer. The Namibia Premier Football League, Golden League and Silver League matches produced some exciting results on Saturday in Vinduk and Kitmansup. In Kitmansup, Golden League teams Mighty Gunners and Orlando Pirates played out a goalless draw while Tigers mowed young Brazilians 4-2. At the same Yoma Stadium, Silver League team Civic's poor run of form continued as they lost 1-0 to Black Africa, while Blue Waters considered two quick-fire goals to Tura Magic and eventually lost 3-1. Moving on to international football. UEFA president Alexander Seferin says, Juventus, Real Madrid and Barcelona have paralyzed themselves with their commitment to European Super League plans. Nine of the 12 rebel clubs who signed up to the breakaway competition announced in April have withdrawn from the proposals amid a huge external backlash. Juve, Madrid and Barca alone continue to pursue the idea, insisting football is facing an inevitable downfall without reform. UEFA launched disciplinary proceedings against those three clubs last week after previously agreeing reintegration measures with the other nine who apologized for the part in the plot. Your sports roundup is up next.
We've come to the end of Monday's installment of Primetime News. We thank you for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up and share. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on the notifications bell to stay posted on the latest happenings locally and globally. From myself and the entire production team, it's good night.